Hello and welcome to my video uh, showing some tips and tricks for the Huddle 2. Uh, this is my Huddle, um, I bought it from Tesco. Uh, obviously it's uh, about £100, it's obviously a cheap tablet, um, very useful. When you buy it, it comes with the Tesco branding and obviously the Tesco apps. The first thing you probably want to do is get rid of those um, because the menu system itself doesn't have uh, the home screen doesn't have many features so you can do that by going to the Play Store and download the Google Launcher if you install the Google Launcher as I'm showing you now you'll see it's a cleaner home screen um, and it's got some additional features so I'll just install that now There we go. So what I'll do is select it. So it's installed now. All we need to do is select it by going into the settings. Go to home and then choose Google. Okay. And if I go back to the home screen, you should see now. Let me just tilt it back. There we go, so this is Google. Um, you lose the Tesco branding and you get Google now as the as you slide across the screen and there's obviously Google search which is just there which is a useful feature. Um, the next tip I'd say um, would be to set up the uh, security you go that you go to security in settings again go to settings and security at the moment you see click on screen lock at the moment I don't use security because I never take my tablet outside of the house but you can set up swipe pattern and lock pin and password which is always a good idea um, and the next tip would be um, the adaptive brightness so basically at the moment it's just set to just a certain brightness that I've chosen but there is a feature inside here if you go to display this here adaptive brightness turn that on and the tablet will sense how bright it is in the room and adjust the brightness accordingly which is another useful useful feature uh, the other thing that another good tip is users with this uh, tablet you can set up different user accounts which is great if you have kids or you know you want somebody to use the tablet but you don't want them to use your settings uh, so you may set up your email and they want to set up their email and have it all separately that's another great feature um, overall it's a great tablet uh, I use it loads um, mainly for browsing obviously and a bit of shopping but yeah it's a great tablet anyway thanks for watching cheers